welcome back in this episode we are again going to see the content providers by seeing the example of calendar content provider so and we will be especially focus on the events that are present in the calendar so let's see how it looks like so I'm going to open the blue stack and you can see here I'm I'm opening the calendar DB and inside this it has the lots of tables right so let me go inside the events and and in this content provider it has the various name attributes like id and then location event location title description duration and, and many more so and we are going to retrieve this data from this content provider in our apps and we will show them in the toast so I hope you got the overall overall structure of the content providers of the event and what we are going to do in this project. So for now, it I start a new Android Studio project and let me name this as content provider two and hit next next. And then choose empty activity and hit next and let, let it be as default and hit finish so it is going to create the project for us and here we go so let me remove this text view first of all and drag a button and which says so the events okay so and it's button ID is button so let me go to the main activity.java class and create my button object. That's button. So I need to link this button to my XML file as we always normally do. So find view by find view by id other id dot button. And again the basic thing we need to typecast is and typecast to the button and have our set on click listener on this button. So I'm going to implement the on click listener interface. So oops, or enter implement the on click listener interface and override this method. So and now our method and our original method this is on click. So here I'm going to have the switch case. And I'm going to get the value of this view object. Let's get ID and in here the case is order ID dot button. So, click. And now, whenever this block, um, button is clicked, this code is going to run. And inside here, we are going to write our logic here. So, for this, create a crosser object. And in here, cursor is cost to, to get content resolver and then dot query. And we need the various components like URI, projection string, selection, selection string, selection arguments, and sorting. Right? So we can do this like, and we can do it like calendar contract dot events and dot content URL and we can specify all all the other parameter all the other parameters as null and if you don't get this at this point so don't worry about them we will talk in detail when we are talking about the databases and retrieving the data from the database so for this this is what you need to do and it says the error let me see what it says type all plus enter and it says add permission to read calendar the, it is saying and it is going to add the read permission in here right so this is because we are going to access the calendar and we need to add the permission and the ID is automatically forces us to do this so another error is showing us and it says add permission check okay so it has also add the permission check so the, what this function now is going to do what this code is going to do is that it checks the whether the user have granted the access right to calendar or not 
so if they have given the permission it is going to run otherwise it is not going to run and it is directly going to return from this on click listener or, or from this case and we can perform any operation and now or we can have the while and it has the crosser dot next move to next and we can check here if cursor not equal to null then we have something or we have some events in our emulator or smartphone else there is some error or there is no any kind of events right and in here we are going to get the all the data so first of all I'm going to create the int int and let me name this as id1 so cursor dot get column index and our column name is calendar contracts dot events dot id okay that's it and another integer is id2 cursor dot get column index and calendar contracts dot events dot account okay i'm going to get the title of this and then again int id3 cursor dot get column index and calendar dot events dot it is going to be description and in id3 is equals to cursor dot get column index calendar contracts at events dot event location okay so we have basically got the all of these column id in these variables now all we need to do is that we need to have this string name so it is going to be id value so it is going to be id value and we can get the id value by cursor dot get string and we can specify the id name so it is id1 in this case so string and the title value so title value title value cost to cursor dot get string and this its id is id2 id underscore 2 and we want to get the value of this description and we can do this by string description value cursor dot get a string and id underscore 3 and for this event location so string event value was to cursor dot get a string and it is id 4 fine id 4 and we have got all of the data present on the those content provider so now we can show in toast as toast dot make text it is this and then you can get and you can have this show it so you can show it and those data possible id value plus let me have let me separate all of them by comma id and then title value hit comma and then description separate it by again comma and then at the end event value and and then hit comma and then specify the toast length it is going to be sort one now when when we get the null value in the crosser we, we are going to show we are going to say that we are going to say the event is not present toast dot make text this event is not present and toast dot show toast dot length sort and show it and yes we are we are we are done here so I'm not going to run this application in the default emulator that's because the at the time of making this video the email id 
the email id associated with the emulator is not going to connect with the calendar and this looks some box or something so i'm going to directly generate the apk file and going to install this application in my blue stack and i will show you then and here is our apk so double click it to install so in the blue stack is going to install this so and before running our application i want to show you something in here in the event content provider we have the we have already two events they are first event and second event and their respective ids are uh, three and four and their location even location are android zone and android desire and we are only getting the four attributes id title event location and description so once you know how to do this for and you can get all of these remaining attributes if you want okay so let's run our application now before this let's do some experiment so i want to go to the calendar and make a empty empty event so it says event created now we have the free event in our content provider right so let us run our content provider and now it should say and, and now it should show the three events first second and third so as of now you have the basic understanding of content providers how we can retrieve the data from content providers and how we can change the value of content provider and we will also go go in detail about go go in detail detail about the content providers when we are talking talking about the databases series in upcoming videos where we will be where we will be creating our custom content provider so and I will see you in the next part with something interesting topic.